Hello, Last Airsoft T TV. I'm your host, Graymar, and uh, we are going to start our tactical gear review series with my East German loadout. Now, uh, if you're one of those people that's looking for an out for a loadout that's completely different and is as cheap as dirt, you're tired of seeing people running around in woodland and uh, marpet and all that. Well, this may suit you just fine. So this is a loadout from the East German military, which is, and this specific pattern is, you know, was worn by the East Germans from the 1965 until about 1990 when East Germany fell. So I'm going for a Cold War motif. Now this is my, this is the rifle I use. I use with my loadout. It is a D Boys AK-74 or RK-03 side folding stock version. Uh, very nice, not completely accurate for an East German for an East German rifle. They barely use the AK seventy fours and uh and they use if they had a folding stock it was like the Romanian wire wire stock. But I've got an East German sling on here as well as real East German Bakelite furniture on it. So very cool. I really like it. Now, um, I'll start. All right, this helmet uh, is the East German steel pot helmet. It came with the camo netting, um, and it is a really cheap, really cheap helmet. They have helmet covers for these, but I don't have one. Uh, this is an East German balaclava. Uh, this is an East. Ger this is a gas mask bag. Um, Obviously, it was used to hold their gas ma gas masks and chem suits in here, but I usually hold it to throw in water bottles, death rags, uh, extra ammo, anything uh, kind of bulky but extra that I that I need to reach fairly easily, and as a side pocket for speed loaders and stuff like that too. Now, moving on to the main rig, this is. I have a uh, a web belt that goes around me here and a Y in a Y harness kind of like an American H harness except it's it's Y. And here is your is an AK magazine pouch has four compartments can hold four to six AK mags but has enough room that you can fit just about anything else that you need. Now the East Germans, they had, they had uh, newer versions of this of this equipment that had different webbing to it. So this is an older version compared to a grenade pouch, which we, which they called a UTV, which is newer. And obviously, uh, different different than this. But anyways, has the green webbing. Is newer. I usually use it as three compartments. I usually stick like a, a death rag or some sort of medical supplies in here, or anything or grenades, anything small or extra that you need. Yeah. But sometimes I just ditch it entirely. Cause all right. Next week, uh, the East Germans kept uh, their canteen pouches right here. Uh, with their canteens, and then they kept an, a folding shovel right there. Now, a canteen, an East German canteen, is very interesting. Comes like this. Uh, once you take this strap off, or uh, the end result is this: deliciousness, deliciousness, um, and anyways, uh, folding shovel. Um, comes with comes with a serrated edge, doesn't really cut anything, but it's good for digging foxholes, obviously. And if you run out of ammo or something, it's good to it's really awesome to just unfold the thing out and charge at it with somebody. I had to do that once, and it was just epic. Um, all right, obviously I have a ton of extra stuff here today. Um, you don't necessarily need for airsoft. Um, I'm a 
airsoft reenactor with Operation East Wind, and this is what I got all this extra stuff for. So, I mentioned earlier I have uh, Y straps here, and they hold a, a three day assault pack on the back in case like you're doing playing any long games or marching somewhere need to carry it, all your equipment to some distant place it's very handy for that and then as you can see here strapped to the pack is a uh, shelter half that is um, that is rolled up and inside I have rolled up I have a uh, a wool blanket to help keep you warm when you're sleeping but the shelter app is very good for uh, making a covered position, making a pup tent, or using as a poncho. So it's a, uh, like I said, it's got a lot of extra stuff in case you're cooking and camping. That you have a a uh, an East German mess kit for all your cooking. Coffee cup, plastic, 75 cents, and I've got uh, ranked shoulder boards for a private, and I bought off of the Operation Eastwind forms, I bought what they call a personal kit off of a guy that contained two pairs of East German socks, a pair of long underwear, and a long undershirt, and yes, I am wearing those. Uh, they are really thin, they're not very good, but they're accurate. And two towels uh, and some kind of napkin. These are the towels that came with, sold me two of them. Um, this is the, that napkin, don't know what it's about. And here's an example of the, like, the long undershirt. And I've also got a, a, a duffel bag. Uh, that's about all the extra crap that I have, but you're probably wondering what all of this costs. Everything that you see here, everything that I have cost me $180. Now, compared to your, your loadouts that most people are wearing nowadays with the Marpat, and a plate carrier, it can cost up to 80 to uh, even $200, depending on the brand you get, to get a frickin' plate carrier, plus the pouches that you need, and the Marpet uniforms, like, they're like $32 per piece. It's ridiculous. So, if you're looking for an old-school, Cold War, inexpensive look, that not a lot of other people are wearing this East German loadout stuff is very cost effective. And it's very good for winter brown weather like this. So, anyways, that's about everything I have, but check out the video description in, uh, below for additional information and more links. And I am your host, Graymar. Stay tuned for some more uh gear reviews and other reviews that Lexington Airsoft Shock Troopers will be doing, and I'll see you later.